Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. Before we dive into today's Kiki, which is slamming Lenny for filth, we are Team Lisa, and we are loving The Real Housewives of Miami. But before we drag him for filth and watch the video of him and his mistress at the club being super disrespectful, before we do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below. So, with that, you guys, let's dive right on in. So, let's watch it, then we'll read the article from page six and we'll talk about it. And shout out to my friend, Martinis with Eddie. He posted on his Twitter account the actual footage of the confrontation between Lisa and Lenny and his mistress. So shout out to my good friend, Martinis with Eddie, for this video. Here we go. All right, you guys, there we have it. And again, shout out to Martinis with Eddie for that. Now let's read some of the background information. And this is from page six. It says, Lisa Hotchstein shares video of her confronting Lenny, his girlfriend at club. Lisa shared a video of herself confront confronting her now estranged husband, Lenny, and his girlfriend at a packed Miami nightclub. Side note, I'm not trying to age shame anybody. Obviously not. But it's a little, I feel like Lenny and his whole crew, they're so thirsty and it's really sad and desperate. Like they talk about on the show how he always has these like parties on the weekends. Granted, maybe he has to have the parties because he has to pay the mortgage. But beside that, it seems just a little thirsty that they're in the club like this, like every single weekend. Like I'm confused. It seems very desperate. It seems very beyond midlife crisis situation and again i'm not age shaming you want to be in the club when you're 21 to 91 you do you boo boo obviously but i'm only shading lenny because of how disgusting he is being to lisa but it's giving very desperate very sad very pathetic very weird vibes to me like get out the club why are you in the club you look like i don't know grandpa anyway let's keep going the Real Housewives of Miami star can be seen in the footage, which was reposted to her Instagram story early Friday, ambushing the plastic surgeon and Katharina Mazepay, Mazepa, whatever her name is, the side chick, with her cell phone and its flashlight to catch them on Mother's Day weekend. Now, this is disgusting. Like, again, why are you in the club on Mother's Day weekend? Like, why aren't A, Lenny's mother is still here. Why aren't you celebrating with your mother? Like, and it's also a bigger disrespect for Lisa because she's the mother of your children. So certain holidays like Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve, and all of that stuff, they're special days. And to be out in the club with this chick on Mother's Day weekend, it's disgusting. It's a different type of disrespect. But let's keep going. What is most disturbing, however, is that while Lisa, who's 40, approaches Lenny, who's 56, this is a 56-year-old man, and Katharina, she's 27, stares directly into the camera and licks her lips seductively. Now, listen, I've said since day one, and I think I'm going to be proven right. I think that this Kath Katarina, whatever her name is, a side chick, I think she's fr like, I don't know how to put the words, like the right terminology for it. I think she's scamming Lenny, like beyond the whole 
you know, I don't like to use the word, but the whole like gold digging situation where it's like, oh, you know, hot girl just wants to, you know, bag a guy who has money and like all of that stuff. I think it's deeper than that. I think she's actually conning him or scamming him. I think Lenny is a mark. I think there's something deeper going on with this chick. I think she's working with somebody else and that they are, he's a mark and she's conning him. And it's not going to end well for Lenny. Either she's going to find a way to ruin his plastic surgery practice. She's going to find a way to somehow defraud him of all of his money. She's going to expose a fraud he's doing. Something, but something to me feels like this isn't just young, hot Instagram girl wants wealthy older man. I think there's something more sinister going on. Like this is going to be an episode of like Dateline or American Greed, or, you know, the first 48. Like, I don't know. There's something sinister going on here. I can't put my finger on it, but but I bet you it comes out that this chick is not just some random Instagram chick looking for a come up. I think there's something deeper going on. Okay, but let's keep going. Because the club is so loud, all that can be heard in the video is a self-proclaimed, quote, boob god asking, what are you doing, Lisa? She's getting proof. Okay, she's getting some video evidence. So when she takes you to the cleaners during your divorce, she has some proof and good for her. Good for her. Not only does she have that proof, but she has your hot mic moment, you idiot. Literally, you're like, yeah, I have a mic on. That's why I'm whispering. I mean, to someone who thinks they're so intelligent, who thinks that they're the smartest person in the room, to be such a narcissistic plastic surgeon, you're real dumb. Don't you know that microphones can pick up whispers? Just because you whisper doesn't mean the microphone can't pick up your voice. That's why they got you on the hot mic. Lenny, shut up. Just shut up. All right, but let's keep going. Page six broke down the news of the club, quote, showdown, which took place in early May during Formula One's 2022 Miami Grand Prix. And it immediately prompted speculation that they were calling it quits on their 12-year marriage. They were all there and they did have words and insider revealed at the time a drink was thrown. Another source said there was a showdown at Gala Miami this weekend, adding that Lenny walked in with his quote new girlfriend. Lisa got in her face and yelled at her. The second source shared when page six asked Lenny about the altercation and whether there was any plans to divorce. He lied to us and said there weren't. But about a week later, the doctor came forward with the truth and confirmed he and Ralvi Star were going their separate ways. A few weeks ago, I denied this because because I am trying my best to protect my family during this process, he told us in an attempt to explain away his falsehood. You're trying to protect your family during this process? Then why on Mother's Day weekend are you in the club with a 27-year-old that you're banging and cheating on with your wife? Hmm? Lenny, just stop talking. You're lying. You're trying to get your dates right. You're trying to say, oh, I never cheated on her because you don't want it to, to backfire when it comes to money and the prenup and the divorce. We're on to you. Lenny, you're really not that smart. And I'm interested to see what's going to happen with his finances come out. I wonder if he has as much money as he says he has. You know, is this another Ponzi scheme? Is this another, you know, fake, fake, fake it, fake it till you make it situation? I got questions. Let's keep going. This is a very difficult time and I would ask for some privacy that we can so that we can best take care of our children who mean the world to us. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, you want privacy but yet you're in the you're in the clubs on Miami? Boy boy. Although Lenny said he wanted to take care of their children, he and Lisa share son Logan 7 and daughter L3. The housewife since has acute the housewife since has accused him of cutting her off financially, leaving her unable to buy diapers and food for the kids. See, this is ridiculous. And we also saw on um, a couple episodes ago where Lisa said that Lenny was like, you and the kids need to find some other place to live. Now, if he's willing to throw his own children out of the house for a 27-year-old thought, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Because she said it. She said, he said, you and the kids need to find a new place to live. So I believe Lisa. I believe her. In response, Lenny claimed Lisa spent $9,000 in one week on designer duds. Exactly. Who cares? What's, what's, what's the point? Lenny, you can't act like you are this big baller plastic surgeon. And then when your wife 
spins accordingly, like it's all relative. You know, if I'm married to this plastic surgeon who's claiming to make millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, you know, $9,000 on designer clothes would be nothing. You know, it would be nothing because that's the lifestyle. It's all perspective. And also, Lenny, it's context. There is zero correlation between Lisa saying, you cut me off financially and I'm unable to buy diaper and foods for my children to one time in our marriage, she spent $9,000 on designer clothes in a week. What exactly is the correlation there? It may, you're Again, you're trying to slam her and make her look bad, but it doesn't make sense. Who cares if she spent $9,000 in a week? You're pretending like you have all this money. What's the problem? And aren't you out here now buying the mistress watches and clothes and this, that, and the third, paying for all of her stuff now? So what's your point, Lenny? Lisa spending money in the past has nothing to do with you cutting her off and her being unable to feed her children. And I believe it. The same thing happened to Noella in The Real Housewives of OC. Remember when she was going through her divorce? She said how her husband cut her off and the only car credit card she had was her Amazon, like Amazon Prime. And that's how she was ordering food for the kids. Because it's sad. I mean, and it's true because if if your source of income comes from somebody else and they have the power to cut it off and you don't have a source of income, then yeah, one day you might be at Chanel buying $9,000 bags. And then the next day you're like, how do I put food on the table for my kids? If your source of income can be cut off like that. And it's disgusting. And I believe Lisa. I don't think she's lying. I believe Lisa. I think he's disgusting. I think he wants to start a new life with this other chick. The divorce is ongoing in court, but fans are now watching it play out on the Peacock series. Dun, 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 dun. But I want to know what you guys think. Let's watch it again just because it's that gross. And again, shout out to Martinis with Eddie for posting this. But after watching that again, th the side chick is basic AF. She just looks like your plain Jane thought. So basic. Lenny, you messed up. Lisa, I hope you take, I don't, don't get mad. Get everything, girl. We are team, team Lisa. But put it down below. You know, what do you think? Is it really disgusting how Lenny is trying to make a false correlation between Lisa spending money in the marriage versus her not being able to buy food for her children. And unfortunately, that happens. You know, if you don't have, you know, your own bank account or a way to get money on your own, unfortunately, some people can cut you off, you know? So put it down below. What do you think? And are you like me when it's like the side chick? I think there's something sinister going on. I don't think the side chick is working by herself. I think she's running a bigger scam on Lenny. I think he's a mark. I think that he's had these big parties at his at his um, mansion. He's on the show. People come. They see all of the wealth. They see the cars and the house and the jewelry and all of that. I think Lenny is a mark. And I think she's running a con on him. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below. With that, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome to Sugar Pills, a practical guide to self care where your host, writer, actor, and producer Candy Washington helps you live a more joyful life with a cheeky dash of pop culture news. Be sure to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and join the conversation on Instagram at Candy Washington. Let's go.